from May 10th, 2018 planning board meeting. The work session night, we've got a couple of things, conceptual plans and the application to remove a section of stone wall. Stone wall was filed first. First on the agenda yep. is the stone wall removal. Do we have somebody can explain what the, what they want to do? Uh, you get to stand in front of the microphone. The plan is to put in a barn slash garage, and we can't go up around the house with a snow with a driveway because it's all slate and rock up there. So down on the other side of our property, we're gonna a straight up driveway, but there's a section of stone wall that we would have to remove. The rest of the stone wall is pretty messed up. <coughs> We're going to fix the rest of that. And is, um, is the permit signed by the TBW already? No, it has to come here first. That means his Kyle looked at Benji looked at it. He's okay with what you want to put the driveway? Yep. <coughs> is, it, is it legal to have two driveways on one lot? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have any. I don't think there's a prohibition down. It's not like a state road. We have, can only have one every so many feet. We got. We got 260 feet between the driveways. Is that what you're showing here? Uh, yes. I, no, 260 from the edge of the driveway to the edge of the property. Our driveway now is like. 10 feet wide, so maybe 250. Okay. <clears throat> the um, barn is a commercial business. It's a private barn for your yeah. personal use. Yeah. Is that the, the trees already cut where the driveway's going? Is that what this first picture is showing? Yep. <coughs> so where's the wall? In between this black lines, I think. It's yeah, those yeah, those black lines. Okay. And the section that deals with driveways. I thought we adapt, adopted something. In the subdivision it's rates. in the subdivision rates only subdivision yeah. right <clears throat> and we then took the standards and put them on the driveway permit I think it's uh, article 6 or article 8 this what are you gonna do with the eight rocks I was gonna fix the rest of the stone wall where they there's like a, I guess where they dug a culvert down the side of the road. They redid the road like two years ago, I think. Okay. And some of them got knocked over and wherever. I was just going to fix the rest of the stone wall on the road right there. Okay. <clears throat> Could you, um, this doesn't give any dimensions on how much wall you want to take out. I can, in, pretty much in between where those two black lines are. Could you? You mean how how wide is it? Yeah, could you write a take this? Yeah. Write, write a width or something on there. Select one because they're the ones that actually approve it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we'll have to make a recommendation to them.
Would be a gravel driveway and a tower or anything? Or? Just, yeah, gravel. Probably. I guess I have to. You have to tar the apron. Yeah, yeah eight feet up. Apron. I think he said. Yeah, twenty feet wide by <clears throat> tapering down to eighteen feet. Oh, it's twenty. Yeah. I thought it was thirty. All right. On uh, yeah, whatever's on the driving whatever. from it. Yeah, you got to pave. And you got to go back ten feet with tape. Which is pretty much put it back to where the snow wall is now for okay. apron depth, right? Yeah, the specs are on the application. Benji came out and looked at it. Yeah, he said he wants a pipe in there. <clears throat> he looked at it before we cut any trees or anything. This is not a shared driveway, is it? No. Just for you? Just us, yep. I'm not sure yet. It's going to be 500 feet, probably. Or the fireworks. You'll have to get the fire if you come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I asked, so I went down there the other day to get a permit for brush, to burn brush, and he said, as long as the road agent's fine with it, I'm fine with it. I said, okay. Oh. But yeah, so what you, what you tell them, what you tell them how long it is. Yeah. Oh, really? <coughs> That'll change it. Yeah, anything yeah, over 400, 400 feet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, have to have a full It may be it may be less than 400, but I'm guessing five. Yeah, make it I'm, make it 350, and you're fine. Okay. I was gonna save the rocks to reuse on the existing wall and other places. Did you say the... 250 feet. No, between the two... How much, no, how, how much wall is being removed? 35 feet. 35 feet. Actually, that's... That's at the road. He doesn't need to take out 35 feet to get the driveway through because it's back a ways. Uh, yeah, I could take out less as long as... I just... Yeah. I guess I put that to be safe. Um, I mean, it's not a road. You just build an access way to get to your right. barn, right? Yeah. It doesn't need to be... Yeah. It doesn't need to be super 16 wide. 16 feet wide. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, 25 feet would be plenty wide enough to do what he needs to do. Yeah. Yeah. 20? 25. You're saying 20, 15, 20, 25, 30? 25. 25. Yeah. But he needs a little room to push snow off the side of it, so. I figured I'd make it wide enough. I'm going to have to bring in Phil to get a barn up there, so I figured I'd make it wide enough to get a truck up there and do what yeah. they got to do. So is that a motion, Bruce? Somebody want to make a motion? Yeah, I recommend that we... Uh, rec um, I move that we recommend to the selectmen that they approve the removal of 25 feet of stone wall with the rocks to be replaced um, on other portions of that wall for the purpose of making a second driveway to the, to the property and this driveway shall be uh, 250 feet from the existing driveway, probably. 
Yeah, starting 200. No, he says it's from the property line. Right? <clears throat> starting 260 feet from the western property line. Yes. Uh, wait a second. What's the address? It's it's a, uh, 367 Flanders. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. You will need to get on the docket for the Board of Selectmen's meeting. They meet every two weeks. Okay. So it'll be a week from this Monday, and I will send this up to Naomi so she'll be ready for you. But you'll have to call her and remind her to put she you on the docket. She won't be until Monday. Okay. It'll be a week from Monday, you said? Yeah. Okay. You can call Wendy. She'll tell you what's going on. Okay. Next, we've got Howard and Martha. Thank you. Yep. Callaghan? Pelogian. Pelogian? Pelogian. We answered him many things, though. Well. We recognized our name. That's good enough. <laughs> 217 Colby Road. You want to do a event venue barn. Okay. Um, you want to explain what you want to do? Well, we're working on getting an ADA bathroom in there now. We'd like to have that, but we had an event there recently where we just had a porta potty rented, and we have plenty of par par parking on our property for 50 to 100 cars if we use the back field. And I've also spoken with Safety Storage, Safely Store Storage on 114, and he's very interested in renting out some of his space and doing valet to, for overflow parking on his lot if we need it. That's the, um, you just passed the, down at the foot of the hill, Melcher's Yeah, right across from the pond. Melcher's old house. Yellow house, top of the hill. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> I believe the question is, site plan, no site plan, zoning, legal, illegal. Yeah. I don't know. We we'll have to look at something here and see what. Um, Good luck. So, how do we classify it, right? It's in the residential zone. R A, right? Is it R A or R? R. R. Okay. So it's whatever is permitted in RA and R, right? Why? Uh, is it? No, maybe not. I'm looking. Curative Permitted uses. Churches, municipally owned and operated educational facilities, nursing homes, golf courses, or any municipally owned or operated facility. Obviously, it's not one of those. Agriculture, not that either. <coughs> Single with two family dwellings, detached garages, or other similar type structures, greenhouses, breezeways. Home-based business, home occupations, including not limited to lawyer, doctor, realtor, accountant, or notary. 
really doesn't fall under either of those categories. Accessory uses of structures and open use of land only incidental to the permitted principal use of the premises except as otherwise specified. Conservation purposes or something. Well, we had a guy up at Mount Gibbon Road that came to us with a similar type of a. That never went anywhere. Did it? Yeah, he wanted to do like a conference center or something, right? Isn't that what his idea was? It was I mean, you're not going to have every overnight staying there. It's a no. day, day use type of thing. Yeah. Well, first of all, we've got um, Article 19 special exceptions, which, if they meet the criteria, is a right. <clears throat> which one would it be? Well. 1914 a hotel. There's no one night staying, so. It's not a hotel. Well, I, I no, it's not a traditional hotel, but. It's not a bed and breakfast either. And without people staying overnight, it's really not. A hotel, tourist quarter home. You're right. Not a seasonal home camp campground. Not a motorsport racetrack. Not a sawmill. Not a funeral home. How frequently would this be rented out? Mostly on the weekends, I would believe. Probably not every weekend. And just during the summer months, spring to maybe so September, it's October. It's not heated. May, June, July, August, September, October. So six months um, max. So it's 24 maximum if, if you did it every weekend. Right, which we probably will not. Yeah. <laughs> Very unlikely. And, and you say... You, the capacity of this building, assuming that it's Well, I had this fire chief out there, and he says that um, you couldn't fit 300 inside of it. And it, 300 was the marker for having a whole new set of rules that we had to abide by. So it's the doors will always be open. There'll be food served in it, not by us, only if they bring food in. Um, we don't sell anything. It's just renting, just renting the, 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 space. the spot. We had someone approach us very recently for a memorial end-of-life service they wanted to have in there, or we're thinking about having in there. Um, we're thinking of um, movie nights and dance nights for adults with disabilities. I used to work with adults with disabilities for many years. There's a lot of different things, church picnics. It's not exclusive. It's not just weddings. It's just an area that's big where people can have a celebration or a graduation party or something where they couldn't have it in their own home. Or it all be contained within the barn? or is it Barn in the yard. In the Backyard. Yard. Mm -hmm. No, we no. have it. Yes. And what the, size is that? I don't know the square footage. The chief, sure. the, the fire chief, has been in there and looked at it, and he thought it all looked okay. There wasn't anything I needed to do other than put up railings. No, I mean, what's the footage? I'm not sure what the footage of the I'm barn is. I'm not sure is. either. We, we didn't measure that. So, is is he going to give you a? Uh, he would approve the use for 300 people? Oh, less. He said it would. Yes. He up said, to. He says if you hit 300, he, he said the barn wouldn't hold 300 people anyway. But if, he said that was the, if, if it was more than 300, we would have to have all kinds of special things added to the barn, sprinkler systems and all that. But under 300, that was the amount that said what we wanted to do was fine with what we had. Because we, we wouldn't have 300 people. And you have parking for how many cars? On the back field, we could probably put 50 to 100 cars. We had 25, 30 just on the side lawn. Right. 
la a couple of weeks ago when we did the Pine Tree Riot event in our backyard for the town of Ware yeah. and in the barn. According to the tax card, the barn's like 34 by 36. Does that sound about right? That's probably right. I've never measured it. It has a loft. There were 120 people there for the event that we had at Pine Tree Riots, and it held it pretty nicely. And the parking all fit on your lot? In that? that, or if there's overflow um, safely stored, said we can valet and use the spray, use his space. We would rent out space for him, mm -hmm. with him. Where is safely stored? It is right across from Dunkin' Donuts on 114. The store is Oh, 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 okay. I've spoken with the police chief and the New Hampshire Liquor Commission, all the different people. I've tried to figure out what needs to be done before coming to this meeting. So you would be serving liquor? No, but no. I need to know what the laws were, and so I called them just to find out. So if I wanted to have a graduation party, I could not bring my own liquor? You could, yes. It depends on whether or not the town grants us having a business or not. No, you could bring it. They, they can't sell it. We're not selling any liquor. We are not asking to sell liquor, so we're not looking for that. So I called the New Hampshire. It was recommended to me, I believe, by the police, Chief Sean Kelly, to call them and just find out what were the parameters were of the different types of venues and what the laws were for So you don't, need, you don't need any special license if you're renting out the space. If I'm and, renting, yes. And the renter brings his own liquor. They can always be like, oh, be. That's correct. We don't need a special license of any kind if they bring their own. And say say they had a cash bar, they would have to get the license. Yes. That's correct. Yes. Okay. But it would have nothing to do with you. Correct. No. I just wanted to know what it all entailed, so I called them. Yeah. Well, they, they can do whatever they can do a little act, right? No, they're residential. I know, but if you read this correctly, residential rural act is you're talking about special exceptions? Mm -hmm. Then you're correct. You are correct that the special exceptions, Article 19, are uses that will be permitted by special <coughs> exception in the residential, rural, agricultural, and village zoning districts. Um, the state just <coughs> passed a, I don't know if I should call it a law, they addressed Type of activity under farming activity. What was the term around? Uh, the guy in Helicopter is on the rules on a regular basis. Hmm. Oh, that guy's the Christmas tree farm yeah, on Foster Hill? Yeah, Foster Hill has been yeah. trying to get the uh, wedding. He venues. claimed he was in yeah. agricultural pursuit and wanted to have weddings there. Yeah, he had a tree farm and all that. Yeah, but that actually what is, is allowed. Yeah. It took them years to get it, but yeah. yes, it's allowable. Yeah. So, but, but that was, I think that was related to an agricultural a, a use of the land for agricultural purposes. Yeah, it was that he claimed it was an agricultural use. Yeah, that yeah. have yeah, that having a wedding in his backyard was an agricultural use, yeah. and, and that's that, what, that, and that's why Henniker contested it. Because they didn't think it was. Yeah, but as I understand it, that is a fact. I mean, I, I, I mean yeah, Farm Bureau did their literature break my case. That is a farm activity. If you have a farm. Well, you got to have a cow. You take one of your cows over to their house and it be an agricultural pursuit. Don't rent a cow, yeah. Quick sheep. Uh, sheep and grass. Yeah, that's right. I would say there's, there's certainly possibilities, but. They might have to research a little. Um, Agritourism. That, so that, yeah, that, that is. A, that is a, I heard that all. Uh, I think under the right set of circumstances, <laughs> you might be successful. There is. Uh, I don't know what they are. If if we can't find a legitimate category that you fit in here, you can always go to the zoning board to get a variance. 
the, the, the concern I think that we have is that that before anything be done there, we want to make sure that the neighbors are notified. Because obviously, if I were your next door neighbor, I'd be concerned about the traffic on a Sunday afternoon or whenever you're renting it. Mm -hmm. um, if you could just keep bring any of that up as far as traffic. Uh. Um, no, he was he was the parking, and so that's why I went with the storage unit place, and um, he kind of just deferred to you all. Do you do any farming thing there at all? Well. Just gardening, you know, plantings, flowers, Your things. Your own personal use. Mm -hmm. Personal use. Um, if you'd like, we can sell some of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, raise six chickens and sell a dozen eggs, and That's now right. you're a farm. That's right. Got it. Yeah. Uh, if if they get a variance, would we require a site plan review? I think we need to for the parking. Yeah, and so that would re require notification to abutters. Right. Well, on a quick read, I can't see anything that allows this. It's it doesn't seem to be a permitted use, and it doesn't seem to fall in any of the special exceptions. And so. I mean, probably need to read this again and make sure that we're right but assuming for the moment that it doesn't then one option for them is to get a variance and then we do a site plan review to make sure that for that you have a now you have permission to use the property for that purpose mm -hmm. then we require a site plan review to make sure that um, it's not going to unduly interfere with neighbors that the road traffic is reasonable that the parking that you say is there is adequate and so forth. Um, a couple of things you read off, we are not like a funeral home or a hotel, but we would provide the services that hotels do not, as far as wedding receptions or graduation parties. Someone did just recently had someone pass away and approached us talking about using it for the celebration end of life ceremony. So although we are not those things, those are the type of things that we would be holding. 1913 and 1914. Yeah, I still need to go to the zoning board for that because you need a special exception for, for that anyway. And it says not permitted in the residential or village districts, which means you need a variance and you're in a residential district. I think personally, you'd be much better going for just what you explained us that you're trying to do, instead of trying to morph it into something that is related to something that's allowed by special exception. Um, there's really nothing even close This is not a B and B in any sense. No. You're not renting rooms no. to these people. No. Would you like us to? No, no. they wouldn't be in the house. That's right. Mm -hmm. I I've been in your house. I don't think yes, you'd you want have. to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that some hotels require in order to use the conference room you have to have a block of rooms. Right. And uh, you know, that was a requirement that we have somebody spend one night. You know, we could Put them in a contract. I mean, still need, yeah, but then so you it'd still have to go get. You still need variance. Yeah, but that's these folks are renting they, this out, and making money. It's a business. A business it's venture. not that they're it's, it, the party that they had to celebrate uh, Pine Tree Riot. Pine Tree Riot 
was the same thing you might have as inviting your friends over for a birthday party. It's a personal event. They weren't charging for it. It was just a bunch of people that they wanted to come over to engage in a celebration. And that's not what they're talking about here. For us, it was like a dry run. It worked out really well. Mm -hmm. uh, we also had our church picnic there in, in our yard, and that worked out really well. Uh, everybody enjoyed it. It had the, the, the facility handled it. Yeah, well, you've got a nice setting there. There's no Thank you. Question about that. Okay. Brian, that's local residential. We are too. Well, that was a fine for century. The first one, actually, yeah. in the area. That house was the first house on that street. So that wasn't agricultural at that time, and it doesn't carry over to now. No, it's with it's rezoned at some point, mm -hmm. and that's why we have to. That's the rule of the day. Mm -hmm. Who knows where it will be 50 years from now. I think you need to go to the ZBA. And because there's no, it's not listed as something you get a special exception for, you, you, I think you need to apply for a variance. And my question is, <clears throat> what do they apply for a variance from? The right. fact that I won't let them do it? It's, a not, it's not a permitted use. Okay. So I have to write, they have to apply to me, I have to deny them, and that gets them to the ZBA. Right. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Got that? Got that. And then when you go to the ZBA, they're going to, all goes well, you get a variance, then you'll have to come back here. For a site plan, and we're going to be looking at essentially your parking sure. for how many people you say are going to be there. Mm -hmm. But also, if you're close to your neighbors physically, and this would, you know, I'm saying if, and this would create noise, or the amount of traffic would be upsetting to people, it's possible that the the abutters, which who would have to be notified, could come in and object, and we would have to consider those objections. Mm -hmm. Be reasonable. Neighbors, neighbors. Several Can't acres. Yeah. Yeah. We own so, five acres total, but we're only using 250 of the cleared land, 2.549. So if, if um, somebody has a pretty noisy party and it's uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, would your neighbors hear that? That would, be, that would well, be yeah, we can hear cold springs. No we hear noisy. cold springs in Stark Tavern. Okay. But there's a noise variance. Don't we need to stop at a certain time in where? We... we Let's assume that the neighbors were very concerned about the noise. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we do in site plan review is determine what your hours of operation are, mm -hmm. your days, your seasonal. The, um, the t the, uh, and the hours could be limited mm -hmm. so that you couldn't have it, for example, after mid mm -hmm. on Saturday would, night or something. I wouldn't want it after. No, like we, <laughs> no I understand. We, we might cut it off at 10 o'clock. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> in, in other words, the operation would be considerate mm -hmm. of the neighbor's right. no desire to mm -hmm. go to sleep. Right. Well, we don't want to be a problem to anybody. Right. Yeah. Okay. When we had a New Year's Eve party and we were on the West Coast, we used to celebrate with the ball dropping in New York at 9 o'clock, our time, and kicked everybody out at 9.30 and told them to go home because we'd celebrate it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Same thing here. We're not going to want to be up that late. <laughs> <laughs> No. Have, have you uh, inquired about liability insurance? We have. It's not covered under your homeowners, I take it? Mm, probably not. Okay. Thanks for coming. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. So we, we will apply with Chip, and Chip will sternly tell us no. Right. <laughs> right. And then we can apply for a variance. Right. right. Do okay. it on a Monday morning at... 8.15 or Friday afternoon at 4.15 and you'll get the quickest no you ever oh, got good. in your life. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Sounds like a great idea. Thanks. Yeah. We offered it to um, <coughs> the police chief or what was it, the fire, fire chief fire. for a party for his guys and he liked that. Yeah. <laughs>
be nice Maybe. to have something like that in town. I think so. We want to be, you know, helpful to the town. You know, a lot of it is the donations, you know, giving back to the church, the people who really the different departments. But then there is nice to be able to have to have some that is for profit to help pay for all the donations. Right, but <laughs> I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, if they're not doing it as a business, if, for example, they let the church use it, they let the police use it, um, that that would not be something that would require them to even come here. Isn't that correct? Unless you used it as a tax deduction. Pro probably not. I, I know that you want to charge. I understand that. But if if you were not charging and you were just simply letting friends and so forth use it, that probably is just normal use of your home. Right. So shall we consider this a precedent that anyone else who wants to do what they want to do have to go to the zoning board? I got Certainly a, in the I, residential district. I got a stack of them. Events? People Someone? that want to do exactly what they're doing. Is there something more that we should know as to why so many people would want to do this? Is there something going on? Well, for the barns, it's a, it's a new thing. Last several years, they love that venue instead of a hotel ballroom. It's yeah. more relaxing. Yeah. It's countryside. They okay. Enjoy that. In Boston, so we'll create a new category for me to deal with this stuff. New Boston does it constantly at the quarry. They use that barn for. I've been several of them done there for wedding. Really? Oh, yeah, that's the big thing. Yeah. And that bar's not that. And that bar's not that old. No. It's old in the mid seventies. Yeah, it's it's got a lot of room and. Somebody actually approached us and just came up to us and said, can we use your barn? We'd like your place. We'd like to use your barn. And, you know, that was a surprise to me. That, that, that's a, that that's apparently a big thing. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Next we've got Perry Family Revocable Trust. 402 Old Francistown Road. Looking to I like to have the ability to rent the guest party. Airbnb. Airbnb. And there's three units in the guest cottage? Mm hmm So we've got three Airbnb units. Essentially? Yeah, right. I'm Janice Perry, by the way. Units are rented in the past for a state license for a BMB or be rented for a house owner by the end. Boarding horses. I didn't know if I had to put that on there or not, so I did. What what does it mean the indoor will be rented for horse owners? What is the indoor? It's the indoor riding arena. Oh. This is um it's Paul Bessie and Susan Libby's place. Was. Did they do? Oh, is this is this the property in Old Francis Town Road that mm -hmm. has that very large mm -hmm. arena? Mm -hmm. uh, as you drive south, uh, it's on the left. As you come from 149, yes. you're on the left hand mm -hmm. side of the road. Correct. And you're on the paved part of the road. Correct. Did they ever go before a cycling before for that arena? Okay. Well, that stuff predates zoning. It had been, she has uh, old uh, licenses from the building when it was used as a B and b back predating zoning. So I don't think she needs to do anything. But I asked her to stand before you wise people and have you interpret the balance of her life. She is, this is in the RA zone? Yes. I'm sorry, ma'am, your first name was? Janice. Janice, Janice Perry. Perry. Have you rented out those cottages at all since you've owned it? No, no. I haven't. I, you know, I like to ask permission. Some people said, why did you even ask? But because there's a bunch of properties already on Airbnb in town, but I just, you know, it had a past use of that. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to do the right thing and, and come here and make sure everything was a-okay. So you want to 
You want to rent three guest cottages? There's it's one cottage with three. three I, should, I have a picture. I, um, yeah, I see a little sketch here. Um, yeah, they're just single rooms that have exterior doors and a separate bathroom in each one. Okay. Each each room has its own bathroom. Yes. And it's just one room, like a <coughs> like a motel like, room. Like a little motel room. Yeah. So it's a three-unit motel, in effect. I guess. I'm, that may not be the way you want to describe it, but functionally, it, it's it's like that. And it is seasonal too, because it's only it would only be used like May through October, most likely, because it's not winterized. Oh, it's, is, are they heated? There is heat, mm -hmm. but there the way the system set up for water it would i'd have to the the heat it's it wouldn't be worth it to do that so so it would just be seasonal may to october possibly into so november but you know this last year it got cold so quickly okay how old is the license is it yeah you know what? I I meant to grab it tonight and I didn't bring it. I I am not sure, but they had one through the state, and they did have a history over years of renting this this building out. Like when they would have horse clinics there, they would. That's I think an, I I'm get I'm not sure if that's initially why these got converted to that or if they were already there when they purchased it. But when they would have clinics, people would stay, and because um, usually a clinic will be two or three days. Okay. Under Article 19, special exceptions, 1913 and 1914, 1913 says seasonal homes, camps, or campgrounds, whether for private use or for rent, and that, and that the seasonal homes is permitted in the RA district. Mm -hmm. And hotels, tourist courts, or home, including cabins, cabins and motels, again, not permitted in residential, but it is permitted in RA, but it's by special exception. Um. When you were talking about the agritourism, I'm like, I had seen on TV about the people that rent out somewhere to walk goats. I can include that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take Sean as goats. We already talked about that. Now I that guess people pay money to come and walk goats. The, um, the arena rental, or essentially, that, that, that's... <laughs> Totally separate from the Airbnb thing. I Correct. Mean, I, I just put it on there because, like I said, I'm one of these people that, you know, I like to be up front and, and just, it said to list everything, so I listed. That was, that's what they did too, is, you know, that's been a pass used of, of the property as well. It's kind of too bad that Craig is not here. I've spoken with him in the past about the Airbnb thing, mm -hmm. and he doesn't seem to think that there needs to be any kind of regulation on them at all. That it's the same as renting your house, and renting your house is a legal thing to do in any zone. But she's not renting her house. Am I correct? This is not your home. She's renting. It is my home. Yeah, it this is. Pro you, this property is no, my no, home. No, 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 I understand oh. that, but you... On that property is a house in which, which is your home, mm -hmm. and in addition to that house, mm -hmm. there is this three-room mm -hmm. unit mm -hmm. as a separate physical building. Uh, it's attached by a corridor. To the house? Mm-hmm. And there's no meal served. Um, no. It, so it doesn't really classify itself in any of the bed and breakfast or motel or any type of categories. It's, well, a motel it, is... It's technically an Airbnb. A motel is where you rent a room and there's no food service. Yeah, but it could be. And a hotel. A, you a can motel rent a room. is not part of your house. No, I agree. Um, you know, I'm just sort of trying to defend both her and Craig's take on this Airbnb thing, and we've got them all over town, literally. So, so the argument is that that the zoning ordinance in any district allows anybody who has a home to rent out rooms. Is, is that the concept? No, Forgetting about Airbnb, that's just one way to do it. Well, they could put a sign out, rooms for rent. No, she wants to, re in essence, she's renting her house. Even though she still lives there, the, the house is for rent, the facilities for rent, they she, can rent everything. She's renting 
three room, assuming that it's all connected and part of the house, just for argument's sake. She's putting up a sign, whether she does it through Airbnb or a newspaper ad or a, uh, whatever. Um, she is saying, rooms for rent. I'm renting three rooms in my house. I've got seven bedrooms and I'm going to, whatever. And I'm renting three of them. That, is that what you're doing? Or did I misunderstand? Airbnb is just a way to get the tenant into the rent. Right. But you're, you're, you're renting rooms to people. That's what you're proposing to do. Mm -hmm. And are they three individual separate people or the three people off the same group? Uh, I would think at times it would be three separate right. okay. people. Or With a non-use clause, and some that's not permitted expires after yes, two years. Two years. However, there's a precedent set with that uh, with that racetrack out there. It's a racetrack. Once it was a racetrack, it's still a racetrack. It's been owned. The taxes have been paid on it. It's still considered a racetrack. And that was an opinion from the town attorney because there's a guy who wants to buy it and make it back into a racetrack again, a and functioning racetrack. And the tax card, what's the tax card say? Like this stuff? Basis. But but where I'm reading Article 17 Rural Ag and I don't see any uh, anything in there that talks about renting rooms as one of the permitted uses. And then if I go to the section 19 on special exceptions, seasonal homes, you could argue it's that, or seasonal camp, or a hotel or a tourist court. Um, uh, uh, cabin and motel and she can do that if she gets a special exception um. so this area here is the area where those three mm -hmm. bedrooms correct are? Is, is the connection inside or just the covered walkway it's can, enclosed it's enclosed so if it's raining outside you can walk directly from <coughs> the house oh they They'd have to go out and in. It's um. They could walk their door because there's no roof over their door to get into the unit. Right, right, because the door is open to the outside. And so, how do they get into the corridor? They'd have to walk out the door, and then there's another door, door into going the into the corridor. Mm -hmm. There's nothing on the tax card saying that those three units are free. It says two family residence. So if it's a two family, she's renting the other family. No different than anybody else renting a, the other half of a duplex. Why Why does the tax card say it's a two family residence? Yeah, it says two F residence, right? Because there's another apartment within it. Where? Up. In the In the house. And that apartment has its own separate entrance, its own kitchen? Its own bathroom. Yes. Its own bedroom. Yes, my my sister is in there right now. She moved here. My husband is a Vietnam vet that um, has severe dementia, most likely from his exposure to Agent Orange. So that was part of how purchasing this property all came to be was to because she moved here to help me because at this point he's twenty four seven care. Okay, so in effect, it's not a two family house. It's this is like an in law park. Right, and and so that's within this structure right. somewhere here. Right, this is a separate. Well, that's why I was kind of looking around here to see if they said what those were, but it doesn't. It just says. Do you know what that what those that, those three rooms were used for in the past? That's what that's what they used it for was renting it out. 
they mm -hmm. had they had a B and B. They had a B and B license, and I see. right. And then if they had horse clinics, they would rent out the rooms, which was still sort of like a B and B at that point too. So somebody might rent a yeah. room and, and, the and, and use the facility for their horses. Correct. This does say three bedrooms are in the forty-six by twenty slab. And it's FFF slab, no closets, room with bathroom. Down off ladder access. Attic ladder access, yeah. When was the last time those rooms were rented? I, I'm not sure. How I'm long not. have you owned the property? I just bought it in October. Oh. That says three guest suites. That's in the last section. That's 20 by 46. Yeah. yeah. And like Chip said, there's there's so many places with the Airbnb already just pretty much doing the same thing. But and like I said, other people say, why did you say? You know, why did you ask? But to me, that's who I am. You know, to ask. And in the future, if something should happen from a legal point of view, you by doing what you're doing, you're wisely protecting yourself. Mm -hmm. Very wisely. Other people may have problems. And those rooms, I just had the electrician in the other day. They do have hardwired smoke detectors, and we're going to swap those out because they're, I think, just around 10 years old, maybe a little bit older than, you know, they're, they're just right around 1010 years old. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Can, can you get information from the prior owner mm -hmm. about how often and when those rooms were rented? Mm -hmm. And how, how do you know how long the prior owner owned the property? Twenty something years, I believe. Okay, it's on the tax court. Okay. Um, well, does it make any difference? If, if, in fact, this is a continuing use that pre predated zoning. Do we have any record of, of uh, yeah, do we have any record of, of granting an application for a permit to use this? No. So it could have been an illegal use. Well, in, a in the town of where an illegal use? Well, when they started this, it may not have been, I don't know, we had, regular, we had zoning. But right, some of the Such state. as it was. They did have the state permit, though, for the B&B, because that's still posted in one section. We get a copy, we get a copy of that. Make a photocopy to bring it in. Okay. Right, especially if there's a date on it, and I assume there I is. I think that was, some of that was used back, if I remember right. That's what it was built for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I think that's what, because I remember going down there. Things, well, I remember that. Was, John Young had a, one of those little kids who used that migrant work as an error. I think it was on the other side of the street. Uh, <coughs> okay. The, the easiest thing, I think, would be a demonstration that this has been regularly used in the past for this purpose. Okay. Um, if that... If, if you can't demonstrate that, uh, I think this is an easy case for a special exception. Yeah, but she's got some evidence that it was used, used for that. Sorry? She's got some evidence that it was used for that in the past. Yeah, she's got the license. To and it's, and it's got a separate septic system? Yes. I, I don't think that's the issue. I think the question no, is whether it's a legitimate use and how long it's been going on. Yeah, but it was supposed that she determines that it 10 years ago. It doesn't. The, one of the things that strikes me, though, Chuck, is that, that it was never changed for assessing purposes. It's always been a part of this three guest suites, each with a private bath. Uh, so it, it was never. No one ever came in and said, "We're not using it for that anymore. We want to change the assessment." And I think from time to time, Paul Bessie's wife used it for different event types of things down there, where she had people staying 
they had horse shows. They did all kinds of stuff. You know, if, it w if there was anything on the card about that space being still the bedrooms and the guest suites and all that, then somebody came into the cut trying to sweep it under the rug and get it, not pay the taxes on that, but that doesn't look that that happened. Uh, are we saying that this is an agricultural use? Agritourism? Well, that hasn't been brought up. Be because it definitely, definitely fits for that. Yeah, that's because Because she's got with the barn, the barn yes. and the arena and yes. horses and so forth. So right. clearly it's agriculture. Well, we don't address that in our zone at all. No. Well, no, but it says agriculture. And, there's a st and let's see if we define that. Agriculture. The state defines agriculture. I know that she has horses down there. We've been down there recently from horse training and horses and mules. And they have uh, programs down there for kids with special needs. Yeah. Okay, agriculture. She'll have the meaning set forth in RSA 2134A. And we you just got, happen to have got a brand new the latest tonight. version. What did I say? 2134A. I'm on page 23. 2134A. Reading, boarding, raising, training, writing instructions, selling and reporting. She does all of them. Yeah, that covers all of them. I'm on uh, the it's second under column. 2134A, and it'll be under sub, uh, Roman numeral 2, number 5. Yeah. The agriculture and farming. Are you reading the breeding? Boarding and raising of horses? Yeah, it says right down, yeah. it says agriculture, farming, and then the number five, yeah, it says breeding, boarding, well, raising, training, riding, instruction, and selling of equines. Yeah, but let's go on to something that even may be better. Um, 2B, it's on the right-hand column, and, and then go down to 5, the marketing or s s selling, et cetera, products, we're not prohibited by a local regulation. Marketing includes agritourism which means attracting visitors to a farm to attend events and activities that are necessary uses to the primary farm operation, including but not limited to eating a meal, making overnight stays, enjoyment of the farm environment, education about farm operations, or active involvement in the activity of farm. Right in the middle of the page. Do you... Are you using this for horses? Mm -hmm. Are you renting it out, or or is it just your own your own horses? A little, a little bit of both. I haven't done much with boarding horses. I mean, it's certainly set up for that. It's um, I helped out the high school equestrian team this okay. winter. Equestrian team. And uh, yeah. Training. They go up there. So yeah. one horse did stay there for that. Yeah. And two of the kids shared her. Hopefully, hopefully it is going to get hayed the front field this year. Yes. Yeah, I think it's certainly in the front. Yeah. I've got two borrowed pigs there at the moment. <laughs> Live or ready for slaughter? Oh no, they're alive. There's some knotweed that we're doing an experiment. If you're successful, would you let everyone in town know? Uh, unfortunately, the pigs do not like the taste of knotweed, but they're doing an excellent, excellent. job of rooting it up. Get the high ones. Oh. They'll eat it. High ones. High ones. So. They'll eat knotweed? They'll eat everything. They'll eat, they'll eat rye bushes. I guess I'm Goats okay. will eat it, too. Uh, I'm Goats okay will eat it, too. Under agritourism, I mean, she can make an argument that this is yeah. a permitted use, and she's got, uh, okay, she's great. got a farm. Great. Else like? Eating a meal, making overnight stays, enjoyment of the farm environment. I, I assume that one of the things that will attract people to your place is the fact 
that it's open, it's mm -hmm. a farm type environment, mm -hmm. you've got horses, you've got the arena. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm told the attraction was in the past, yes. I, I think I think she I, I agree with you um, Bruce I think that this is a part of the agriculture operation under 1732 mm. as we define agriculture in here and it's pretty existing Has the fire chief done a life safety inspection for you? I haven't done that yet, no. I wanted to come here first and just see, but I will certainly do that. For your own insurance. Mm -hmm. says he probably should do that for you. The only thing we need for chip, and I think we're all set with you. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Just in case there's a question, let's see if that license off the wall and see if it's expired. Okay. Okay, no, I'll bring that in. Put it in the file, so. Okay. And for being Great. honest, Jack will buy you an ice cream cone and the next time you see <laughs> Welcome to where? Oh, thank you. I, I like the community very much already. So, thank you. Okay. All right, so I just have to bring in that certificate. Yeah, we'll just make, yeah, I'll make a copy of it and put it in your property file. Okay. Thanks. And I'll make a copy of the minutes of this meeting and put it in your property file. Okay. The fire chief for the life safety. You already said you've got the putting in new uh, smoke detectors right. and stuff. Okay. All right. Great. Yeah. Good Thank business. Fifteen <coughs> minutes. Uh, I have. I don't have them. If Chip has them. He can circulate. I them. Sent them to everyone. I know. Oh, you did. You did. And they were brilliantly written, I might say. And brilliantly sent. <laughs> Expeditiously sent. I read them, I didn't find anything. Okay. So what are, what are you so doing? Do you want to make a motion on the minutes for... Which, which date? April... Since I wrote them, I really shouldn't make the motion, but Mr. Bolton can do so, or Mr. Meade. Yeah, I can't, I wasn't here, so. That doesn't matter. Accept the minutes of April 26th, I'll I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? Abstention. So okay. Motion carries. Three, three, zero, one. Okay. That's it? I believe that's it. So we're anybody, adjourning anybody 805. Anybody else have any business? Meeting adjourned 805. Excellent.